Hi, I'm Danny Nightmare, and I'm a horror addict. And I'm gonna give you something a little new. I realize we're supposed to be covering all things horror, yet I haven't done any music. So tonight, I'm gonna give you an album review. Guar, Blood of the Gods. This album hit shelves, well, I guess, does anybody play, sell CDs anymore? I mean, I can find them on Amazon and stuff, but I, I don't know any places that actually sell CDs anymore. I think Walmart kind of does. Nothing I would ever buy. Oh well, it hit some sort of shelves, even if that's figuratively, in late 2017, which they toured massively that year. They had the Blood of the Gods tour, Warp tour, they all brutal and bitching, and we needed that because in, in 2016 there was hardly any live shows. I've seen Guar every year live since 2004, except for 2016, where they came nowhere near where I live. Another reason why that year sucked. And I've seen Guar live like 20 times. I have to say the new tour, it was pretty awesome. A few people complained because hey, they didn't play enough of their old songs. I've seen them six times since 2014. They haven't had any new songs. They've just been doing their old stuff plus a couple of covers, but. Finally, they got new albums. I personally liked that about the tour. Granted, like I said, I've seen them a whole bunch of times, so it was a little refreshing to have something new. For people who just kind of go now and then, yeah, I can kind of see that would be a bummer. So I can get why people would complain about that a little bit, but eh, for me, I thought it was great. There's also some hate out there that Guar shouldn't be going anymore because Odorous passed away. Well, if you were any fan of Odorous or knew anything about Dave Brocky, you would have known. You know, we could continue, you know, we can breed replacements. I've always said that Guar's the band that could last a thousand years. You know, I know Hitler said that about the Third Reich, but I might be right. He wants the band to go on forever, right? He said so multiple times. It'd be letting him down to give up. And I think Blothar's a great front man. He also used to be Beefcake, so it's not like they completely put someone new in there. They kept it in the family. Things aren't obviously ideal without Brocky, but the band needs to keep going. I say a thousand years. I better keep going throughout my entire lifetime because I plan to keep going even when I'm an old man. I'll just I'll still go. I've already seen him 20 times. I hope I see him another 120 more. All right, moving on to the album itself, Blood of the Gods. It's got some brutal ass cover art. And hey, it has one of those little books in it. Like a lot of CDs don't usually have those anymore. So uh, gives you all the songs and lyrics on this side and fucking awesome little poster on that side if you want to hang it up. Let's talk about the songs. First we got War on Guar, which is kind of standard for them to have a little opening song that starts off kind of slow and dramatic and then builds into this fucking beast. It's about how mankind unites to try and take out Guar, which isn't the first time. Not the best opening song they've ever had, but it's a damn good one. Now the second track is Viking Death Machine. This is a very rock and roll-ish kind of metal, almost ACDC style, which I think really complements Blothar's uh, vocals. A lot of oi, oi, oi. Track number three, El Presidente. Eat it, Kelly Gribbon. War's been decapitating and killing presidents way before you came up with your little idea, which I guess has got you into some trouble for whatever reason. The song's pretty brutal. This is even little parts of it that almost kind of remind me of This Is Halloween from Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas, just because all the members of Guar have lines in this song. I think they must really hate Donald Trump for them all to sing about it. I wanna kill the president. Death to Trump and Hail Odorous. Then we got another cool rock and roll song called I'll Be Your Monster. Like Viking Death Machine, it's got that rock and roll fun kind of style going on, but with brutal guar lyrics, of course. I'm especially partial to It's Just a Nightmare, but some dreams come true. Moving on to track five, Ooh Rock. Very thrash style song, which Guar used to be all about that type of thrashy type metal back in the day, so it's kind of cool to come back to that. It's almost got poem s type lyrics. Probably my least favorite song on the album, but that's simply because I don't have much to say about it. It isn't bad by any means. I really like it. Track six is Swarm, and boy is this song killer. I love how out of all the horrible swarms the earth has faced, from locusts, to killer bees, to zombies, but this song isn't about any of that. Yeah, those filthy cockroaches should die, but they're talking about us. The humans. Stop global warming. Stop global swarming. This is the same message Darren Aronofsky's mother movie made. But I like that film. This song is actually highly enjoyable, and it's you know only a few minutes long. I suppose to getting that message pounded into your head for over an hour and a half. The Love the lyrics. Stop crying. Start dying. And please stop giving birth. All right, I might say this track wrong, but it is the. The Sorted Siliqui of Sawborg Destructo. And finally, Sawborg gets his own song. He's been doing an altered, tweaked version of Techno Destructo's song for a long time now. When I say his new song is better than Techno's old song, 
maybe not. That one's very memorable. However, it's just good that he has his own actual original song now. And I like it, and uh, apparently it gives you some backside story. Like, I did not know that Techno technically built him. He first showed up with Bozo Destructo fighting for the Intergalactic Tag Titles at one point, and he's been like the main Destructo bad guy ever since. The next track on this is hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> it's just funny. Death to Dicky Duncan. Dicky Duncan is some sort of fast food mascot. And he's got a hilarious little voice, which is very familiar. I know I've heard that somewhere. But hey, kitties, he wants to get you all fat. You know, he's the one who makes nuggets out of rat. Oh. <laughs> Killing all the little piggies on the production line, grounding them to sludge for the slop on which you dine. Okay, I'm never gonna be a vegan or even a vegetarian, because I love meat. But I do need to go on a diet, and I think this song is gonna help me stay on it. We got Crushed by the Cross. It's an anti-religious song, so I guess it's gonna offend a few people out there. But I personally like it, it's very heavy. It's got that thrash sound to it again. The first new song I ever heard when I was at Warp Tour, which is called Fuck This Place, and I love it. This song is awesome. It hits hard, it's fast, it's heavy. The story is kind of guar in a nutshell about how they fucked apes to make mankind. Kind of ties up where Odorous has left them stranded on this planet of pus. And it finishes up what the song War on Guar kind of started. Nothing is as satisfying as blasting the song Fuck This Place when you peel out of the parking lot from work. Then the 11th track is probably my favorite on the entire album. It is called Phantom Limb. And no, it's not about that villain from the Adventure Brothers cartoon. It's actually very personal. It's about mourning Odorous and about some of that shit that I was telling you that the band has been received since they carried on without him. I hear their voices. How dare I speak? They address all that criticism. This is a very deep and honest song. Will we ever kill again? Shed the blood of men. I can't still feel you like a phantom limb. I did not write that. That's the lyrics. They are awesome. And Blothar sings it way better than me. I have a cold right now. But even when I don't have a cold, I'm sure I suck. And to top it off with number 12, we got a cover of ACDC's If You Want Blood. This makes a lot of sense for Guar. I mean, not just because I was saying earlier, Blothar kind of has that ACDC vibe to him as he sings, and it really works well when they have that rock and roll type sound with it. But also just great because when you go to Guar, what do you want? To get sprayed with blood. That's what they do. They put on the best stage show I've seen of any band. And I've seen a lot of amazing bands. And I've seen a lot of great stage shows. But Guar is a live experience that I do not recommend anybody miss. If you ever get a chance and you haven't seen Guar, go see Guar. You need to. I think this is a great first album for Blothar as the main vocalist. I think the next couple of albums they release will be even better. Um, the only real nitpicky thing I have to say is I think that the Sawborg song and the Dickie Duncan song probably should have been switched. I just feel that Sawborg should be a little higher up the card, a little more main event, so to speak, than Dickie Duncan. I might even like the Dickie Duncan song a little more, but I don't think his character is as important, so whatever. That's just a personal preference, not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one eight gold skulls out of 10. If you like Guar or just into heavy metal, I'm gonna have to say you should own it. Anyways, that's my first horror album review. Did you like it? Would you want more of these? If so, let me know what horror albums you would like me to review later. Yeah, it's gonna mostly be a lot of metal, but there's some other horror albums out there. Hello. If you got one you would like me to review, put it down in the comments. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Until then, hail Odorous. Cut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,